Hello there, welcome to the Green Technology. In this video session, we are trying to see agriculture biomass and community waste. So in this case, the Green Technology always searching the, the clean and green energy for the society so that we are going to be reducing the greenhouse gases emissions into the atmosphere. So in this process, agriculture is one of the important sector where a lot of waste materials are coming and how we can convert that agriculture biomass into a useful energy and how we can convert this uh, community waste into the useful energy. So this, what is the agriculture biomass? As you know, there are going to be exist a lot of uh, crop residuals. Suppose banana plants we do have. Next, mage plants we do have. Next, whatever they are going to be getting the crops, they are going to be existed after the usage of the proper product and the rest of the things are going to be going to waste. In this case, sugarcane, baya, bagasi, leaves, twigs, grass and the community waste, sewage and water, waste water from the food and beverage industries can be a good source of the biogas. Then how we can convert into the biogas and what is the, the biochemical reaction is going to be taking place in this process. So then how the municipal solid waste collections and disposal in India. The most of the times they are going to be collecting by using the, uh, the traditional vehicles like diesel and petrol engines they are going to be using and collecting. They are going to be dumping in the open area. So then what will happen? They are going to be self stabilization they are going to be taking place. That means the chemical reactions are going to be taking and whatever the gases are going to be generating they are releasing into the open atmosphere. They are not going to be tapping in this process. So then in this case, the segregate the waste. So that means they need a separate mechanism where we can separate the biodecomposable products and where is the non-decomposable products and that we need to be separated. And in this case, some of the recycled products also is going to be available. We need to be separate from that municipal waste and that we need to be sent to the respective companies so that they will go for the recycling of that part. And problems are that we can neither afford. So the fossil fuels can consume in waste collections. In this case what will happen, not the land that stays locked up for years with the waste dumped in it, not the system of the disposal we follow, not the staff we require and neither the health and their health. The suggested disposal of the municipal solid waste. So here they are going to be giving some of the suggestions. The Maharashtra has reported it can only to cover the 20% as far as the solid waste collection and disposal is concerned. So that means the collecting and the disposal, they are going to be the two parameters they are using. And as for the knowledge point of view, solid waste collections and disposal need not to be done in a conventional way but rather the following ways so that it is more effective and economical and we also avoid the global warming. So how we are going to be reducing the global warming here? That's when we are going to be dumping in the open atmosphere that's going to be start to decomposing the gases are going to be releasing into the atmosphere. So that's way that's going to be temperatures are going to be rising. The collection trucks to run on renewable source of energy. So in this case while they're collecting the solid waste materials from the municipalities so they have they should not run with the petrol and diesel. So then rather than they have to go with the different types of the mechanisms they have to develop it. All collection trucks and neither vehicles engaged in solid weight collections must operate on renewable source of energy. Either the electrical vehicles or maybe the biodiesel vehicles they have to use it. So they, should, they are telling no fossil fuels is going to be used for the petrol and diesel. Collecting the vehicles should either run on the biogas or CNG or converted to EV. So they are giving the different kinds of the solutions to reducing the emissions. The waste segregation there is going to be a separate mechanism once they have to develop it and the waste materials they need to be what are the biodecomposable, what is the non-decomposable, what is the recyclable or non-recyclable. They have to separate one after one and they have to send to the different kinds of things. So the wet, the fraction is segregated waste being organic and nature needs to be composted. This can be done ward wise. So then in this case what will happen, we have to run the collect these kind of the waste materials at the ward level. The organic waste from the selected marketplaces and large industrial contains would go individually waste to energy units for regenerating the biogas. The solid waste disposal system. So in this case the sanitary landfill or aerobic the compo compositing instead of the plain dumping of waste in low laying areas. So then more expensive than the dumping because the, compo the compost has to be transported later to the agriculture fields. And the more methodical and ex 
and the expensive land filling of the waste is done. The biogas collection network of the pipes and then they are going to be suction pump may be installed in the landfill which would help the collect the biogas for the uh, sale of the fuels nearby industries rather than its release to the atmosphere. So they are going to be uh, providing how we can uh, take this solid uh, the gases from the solid waste disposals. So then what will happen they are going to be the land filling areas they are going to be constructed with the special equipments like the pumps so that they are going to be extracting the gases from there and they are trying to supply to the companies where they want. So the incinerations of the solid waste instead of the dumping and the landfill is done in the western countries and not yet in India where the waste is relatively low calorific value. The, across the Europe there are going to be 400 plants the waste to heat type they, are, they have generated. The plant use the city the solid waste as a fuel and then in this case Di dioxide, CO2, extra beside smoke soot and the dust. So these are going to be, they are trying to reducing that part. So their excess heat is pipe, piped for use in adjoining the homes or for the producing the electricity. Denmark, Germany, Netherlands seems to be benefit from most of such a plants. In this case, they are going to be trying to cover into the electricity. What Delhi doing? Delhi is doing, they are also waste to energy plant based, they are going to be established, they are collected 2000 tons of the city's solid waste and capable of producing 16 megawatt of electric power in the first phase. They are also started to practicing these kind of things. So Jindal Eco Poly has a cost of 200 crores will consume only one third of the city solid waste. So they are going to be one company. So the biogas from the landfills. The conventional manner, both the dry and the wet fractions would go to the landfill site for disposal. The sanitary landfill system is to be preferred and biogas collection network of the pipes has to be embedded into the uh, sites of the collected methane, carbon dioxide, other gases. So wherever you are going, so we need to be this kind of the mechanism to collect the biogases from the landfills. So biogas released the statistics there we can see here the biogas released to the atmosphere the, so the, that's going to be India approximately at the rate of 0 0.42 ga gas gallons per per day person in a day. So the biogas from say 1 million people would be 420 kgs per day or 15.3 tons per year. So this is going to be biogas that's going to be 1 million would be around 4 to the 420 kgs it is going to be releasing into the atmosphere that we can entrap this part. The methane is approximately 50% of the volume of the biogas is emission 210 kgs per day. And the CO2 is equivalent to that's going to be 1993 tons per year emitted per day because of this biogas. The use of the biogas from the solid waste. Gauri dump site Mumbai municipality and the covering and reshaping the cost around the 50 crore while the carbon credit earned by the municipality avoiding the emissions. In this case, they earned 70 crores rupees by using these carbon credits. And uh, Okala, New Delhi, these people also started to aero, aerobically to be useful and the solid to frames in a rural areas. This project also funded by CDM under the carbon credit. And what is the outset from this one? So in this video lecture in this case it is going to be saying that the agriculture the waste material also can get the the useful amount of the materials but rather than considering the the calorific value they are going to be getting the good amount of the gases also they are getting so then how we can dispose of the solid materials and how we are going to be uh, collect these materials we are going to be discussed and the problems that can be neither afford that's going to be a suggested disposal of the municipal solid waste collection trucks to run on renewable sources of energy, waste segregation, solid waste disposal system, what Delhi is doing, biogas from the landfills, biogas released, statistics, use of the biogas from the solid waste. So these are all are going to be talking about how to collect the solid materials and how we can dispose it, what is the recyclable, non-recyclable products and what is the biodegradable, non-degradable. These are going to be a separate mechanism it need to develop to get it the exactly for this the biogas development. And the thank you for more videos, follow the channel.